This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. CSPRO data files are text files which need the dictionary file and the CSPRO system to be correctly interpreted. However, once you have entered, checked and corrected your data, you'll need to take it into a statistics package for analysis. CSPRO provides an export facility to export data into formats that can be read by other software. As you might expect, the export data tool is on the tools menu. And as with most of the other tools, the first thing you need to do is to select the dictionary file. We select baseline survey DCF. The item list appears in the left hand side. And from here you can choose which items to export. We will export everything, so we'll tick in the top box. If you are exporting data from more than one record, as we are here, you should export multiple files, one for each record type. For our example, this means that the household data will be in one file and the activity data in another. For the activity data, it is best to export as one activity per row rather than one questionnaire per row. Thus, we choose the output of multiple record occurrences as separate records. As an export format, we'll choose comma delimited. We click run and select the data file, which is baseline survey merged .that. For the names of the exported files, we accept those suggested by CSPRO, which are household.csv, and activity.csv and we click OK. CSPRO displays the activity data in the text viewer. There are 33 rows of data corresponding to the 33 activities over the 15 households and a row of column headers. These data and the household data can be read into Excel or into most statistics packages. Here we see the household data brought into Excel. Among the export options, you'll notice formats for SPSS, SAS and Stata. Rather than exporting to files formatted for these packages, CSPRO exports text files containing the data and syntax files in the relevant language to import the data. The syntax includes commands to read the data and apply value and variable labels as appropriate. Let's try exporting to SPSS and have a look at the syntax files that are created. We click run, we select the data file, we accept the names for the exported files and here we see displayed the activity SPS file in the text viewer. This is the syntax file for reading the activity data. This includes a, a data list command with instructions for reading the data file. Uh, it has a variable labels command uh, for labeling the variables and this picks up the labels we assigned to the items when we created the data dictionary. It sets a missing value codes according to those we set up in the dictionary. And finally, it includes value labels, picking up the relevant labels from the value sets we created. If we were to export to SAS or Stata, CSPRO would create similar syntax files for those packages. Exporting to SPSS, SAS or Stata is one of the strengths of CS Pro. Many researchers find the process of setting up the data dictionary tedious, especially if you have to repeat the labelling when you transfer the data for analysis. However, this feature of CS Pro makes it worthwhile spending time getting the data dictionary correct. 
Remember to choose separate files for the different records and to output multiple record occurrences as separate rows in the output file. Otherwise, you will end up with all activities for the household on a single row of the data file, and this is difficult to manipulate.